All right. We are back for another week of the wrestling room. Um I am Tony Khan's coffee cup and I have with me my lovely co-host. Tell the people who you are. I'm Tony Khan's toupee, because that curly shit on the top of his head is not real. I promise it's not. That shit Velcro. <laughs> That's it's crazy, on. because I'm looking at a picture of Tony Khan, which is why I was his coffee cup. He got that chia 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 on his head. It's <laughs> real. Yeah. This is prosthetic. Prosthetic scalp. That's crazy. Do you miss me yet? What? Do you miss me yet? What do you mean? You're, you're here right now. No, like, we did the pod in, like, the same room last week. Oh, yeah, I just finished crying. <laughs> what? That's, that's not true. It is. It's not true. I was just looking at you like two minutes ago. You're sending lots of mixed messages to, to the on people. On the phone, so on FaceTime. I, I was just looking at you on the phone. Like, and I was crying. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we're, we're back in our, um, our, our own homes, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, last week was fun. Well, all we did was eat food. Give give us a um. Give us a um. What would you call it? A a breakdown about about the beautiful city of Philadelphia. What were your favorite parts? What are your least favorite parts? Weather reports, things of that nature. Weather reports. It was fucking hot. That's for yeah. one. And That's I cool. I wasn't prepared for warm weather. Um. I brought like jeans and stuff like that. I I mainly bought lo- loose fitting clothes because I knew we were gonna eat the entire time for like those two days. Yeah, and, and we for sure did that. But I wasn't prepared for the sun to be beaming in my face. Um, he tried to kidnap me twice. What? Um, and you can't say that. I I'm gonna explain it. You see how you like to cut me off? You can't start off with like a statement like that. <laughs> I can. He would put things into the lift and just tell me to get in the car, and then I don't know yo, until we get there. Yo, so. <laughs> no, <that's laughs> yo, I, no, yo, no, you, you better explain a better way. This is ridiculous. <laughs> that sounds crazy. What is your problem? Huh? What that's is not, your issue? Is that is that not is that not what happened? No, that's not what happened. What are you talking about? You said I have a surprise, and then you put the address in the lift and then we get in the car and we go yeah but don't label like oh he took me in the car and put it <laughs> undisclosed, <laughs> undisclosed date in there and then he was running. what is wrong with you <laughs> the fuck <laughs> he didn't tell me where we're going we went somewhere what is what's your problem yo but i ex- already explained to them last week where we went because we recorded yeah, the yes, day that we went we saw we are our first time listeners in their first impression is just it's just you going in a car. That's fucking ridiculous, bro. I don't think that anybody would believe that you like would actually kidnap me simply because the description of this podcast says a lovely wrestling couple. So, like, <laughs> well, I would hope not, but you know, I don't think I've anybody, seen crazy things happen. I don't think anybody would truly believe that you would just snatch me. We are we are People... in a relationship, sir. People, I took her to some places where food was, where wrestling merchandise was. She was smiling through all of these interactions. <laughs> the fuck, man. He hates when I use the word kidnap, which is why I use it. Yes, yeah, I don't like, like it. it. He doesn't like it at all. It makes him sound like a criminal. Yes! If that's what kidnapping is, that's not a good thing you should be doing. It's not a that's, good pastime. I went willingly, so. Oh. I didn't peek at the GPS either. I was just getting in the car and just being like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> like. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. Um, but yeah, we are back in our um respective homes. Um, I am What was your favorite part? My favorite part? Yeah. Of the two days? Yeah. The buffet. <laughs> yeah. Yo. No, 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 no. Okay, that might have been the second part. I think I think SVW was probably my favorite. We were in there for a while. That's a great store. If you ever been Philadelphia, go to that store downtown Philly, bro. At Suplex Vintage Wrestling. It's a great store. Great people work in there. 
every wrestling merchandise, fucking belt, jacket, action figure. Every I feel like that was every wrestler that ever existed on that wall. I love that they had Nia and Becky's figures next to each other, like hanging on like they were besties. I'm going to post that video on the internet eventually. I took a video of it. They had Rey Mysterio on Sin Cara mask. I couldn't buy anything when I was in there, but I will purchase something soon. I'll, one day I'll get my women's SmackDown belt. So I can it was have definitely a, hanging up there. I can have a place to put my Naomi side plates. Because like when I was ready to actually go and buy the fucking belt, it was no longer on the website. And I think I waited a year too long to try and get the fucking belt. And I'm not paying fucking 450 for the current women's belt because she has not won that belt yet. So we'll get there when we get there. Um, speaking of belts, our new intercontinental champion is actually selling out that fugly belt at this very moment. Oh, that's good. I mean, yeah, I guess. Um, hopefully his side plates are available next week because when I wake up, that is the first thing that is that I'm purchasing. I don't care. Um, so yeah, we have a new Intercontinental Champion, um, main event Jay Uso, um, defeated Braun Baker this past Monday, and I know there was a lot of strong feelings, um, going around the IWC. Um, th- it was a lot of mixed feelings. Um, some people are happy for Jay, but they're also sad for Braun. Um, there's people that are just like, what the fuck? And then there's people like Loft who feels like Triple H just folded to the crowd because if Jay would have lost that match, it just would have been an uproar of another we want Cody situation, right? Yeet. So go ahead and explain your feelings because you feel like you've been staying stuff, but you haven't been like saying stuff this entire week. No, because I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I don't want to step on anyone's fun because I see that 99% of the people that I've come in contact with are very happy about this. The thing is, I'm not angry. I just think that there's timing with all this stuff. And the timing is off. I think Triple H saw the Triple H put himself in this position by having Jay in these big matches and then having him lose repeatedly for it to build up to get to this point where if he doesn't win now, the people are going to get mad. And as much as that WrestleMania doc, wanted to make you seem like wanted to make it seem like they were just cool with the whole we want Cody thing. They were not. You know, so I think they didn't want a we want Jay thing. And they're like, you know what? We already put him in a title match. Just put him over. And then we'll figure out what happens later. Which is a terrible recipe because people keep saying oh they're oh they're giving Braun the Gunther. Okay, that means Braun's going to lose again. And they've put too much stock into Braun trying to build him up as this unbeatable monster thing monster for him to they, they, that's what they've been doing he's running halfway across the ring rah, spearing niggas out they soul that boy All can run be... 23 miles an hour he is not yeah. human because because I, I know this there's some wrestling fans that I know that like and I, I think this is a very stupid way of looking at wrestling these days but a lot of wrestlers they look at they they go off of how they look. Like they look at an Oba Femi and they're like, "Oh wow, Ricochet can't be Oba Femi because Oba's bigger." <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't make sense to me <laughs> That's now. That's goofy as fuck. <laughs> yes, it, is. it is. And I was listening to their opinion about it, and they're like, "Oh, Jay shouldn't beat Braun because Braun's bigger." I was like, "That's not fair." <laughs> well, like, see, and and I I made this I made this point. Um, when Jay won the first contendership, I said, these are two former football players. And I feel like people don't think about that when they look at Jay Uso. Jay played football from like, kid, no, I want to say kindergarten, from like elementary school to college. Like, he has the means of going back and forth with the Braun Breaker. They both have that particular athletic ability. So the size thing don't fucking matter. These niggas got this damn near got the same stats if we looking at it on a board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why when motherfuckers started spearing each other left and right, I was just like, oh. Oh. This is football. This isn't wrestling right now. Oh. Yeah. 
They checked your phone? I, I saw it. I saw it. And we're back. Hey. A day later. <laughs> How would you say that? You're not supposed to say that. Because I'm going to mush the episodes together. So Yeah, but you, don't, don't, don't tell them that. It's a, it's a day later. Is currently 1044 in the morning. Um, shit happens, bro. <laughs> shit happens. But that means we get to talk about SmackDown this week. So. I was bored. I don't know. I I I thoroughly enjoy SmackDown every week, but you know that's just me. Um, but we could pick up where we left off at. Uh, we were talking about uh, Braun and Jay. Um, I know you. I I don't know if you like vocalize your your strong opinions. Before. I don't remember. Uh, no, I just. I, th- I think I said yesterday that I think Triple H folded under the pressure and he didn't want to have a full fan revolt again, so he gave Jay the belt. I just hope that the run is good because the value of championships has been lost over the past, I'll say, four years, and people aren't going to realize the damage of how long Rum was champion until, like, I don't know. They're realizing I it noticed now. it. No, no, they're not. No, they're, they're not. Re- because because they're- the reason why I say that they're noticing it now is because of the way that people act towards his reign. They're like, oh, his reign is boring. He's, he's this. He's not Roman. This, this, that, and the third. And I, I will say this again. Creative didn't have to write for the champion for the last four years. The champion was writing his own shit. So now that they have to pick their pens to fuck back up, of course it's it's going to feel flat because... The champion's not writing his own shit. I, I'm going to continue to say that, but people definitely are saying that Roman had a better reign, and I think it's because he had it for so long. That's 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 why I'm worried about Jay, because put the belt on Jay for, his, for however long you want to. I'm not dealing with the whole narrative that saying Braun's going to fight Gunther because that means just Braun's about to lose his next two matches because Gunther's not losing anytime soon. Do you now, think they'll give us Braun, bef- Braun and Gunther before they give us um, Ilya and Gunther? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, because the only person that's being Gunther is Cena. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm being 100% serious with you. You ain't got to like it. John don't I'm, need I'm no just... more fucking titles. If you think for a second, I said he don't need no more titles. I didn't say he wasn't gonna happen. Oh, he needs everything. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot I was talking to a fanboy. You should, should bring back the Divas Championship. Have win that too. I, you know what I'm saying we, we out here, but that that's what I'm trying to. That's what that's that's the point that I'm trying to convey. Comparison will always be the number one thief of joy and logic. Because it's happening with Cody and Roman. And it's going to happen with Jay. And now they're really not going to compare him to Braun because Braun wasn't champion for over 50 some days. Now I find it funny how people have just decided to throw Braun away like Andy when he got the new toy. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how in the world we've decided that fact that quickly. But I understand. I don't like it, but I definitely understand it. I feel the same way about the tag titles <laughs> that um with the point that you just made of um people holding them for so long that then when other people get them it feels weird. Cuz I felt that way after 39 last year when um Sammy and KO won them and then the Judgment Day got them. It really was just like Oh, okay. These motherfuckers have belts, but they're not as important as they were for the past, what was it, 622 days prior to to 39. I, I don't know. Long reigns, like you said, have ruined um, the values of titles because people get used to seeing certain people with them and how they work, you know, their story with them. And then it's just like afterwards so mm-hmm. um let's jump back into this here list of things 
it, it, triple triple h i i i really expected more from you but at the same time i didn't because i understand why you did what you did it's just it just makes me sad that it's, it's at the expense of someone like Braun who i feel needs to be protected over a 14 year veteran i don't think that Braun is gonna fall to the wayside though I don't know, he's not gonna I fall to the wayside okay. at all. No, that's the thing. I've heard that so many times over the past few days. Brian's gonna be okay, but we've seen so many superstars that we said, "Oh, they're gonna be okay," and they weren't okay. So I can't help but be afraid. Can you give me an you example? Me? Not now. Gotta think. <laughs> My fault. I didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. Bro. No, no. If if I, I'm trying to make sure I say one that like I think means the most because. It reminded me of when freaking when Dolph beat Braun and then Braun won the belt two weeks later in an anticlimactic match on Raw. You know, there's a whole bunch of superstars that get pushed to the top and then they have like, I'll say, part of me wants to say Shinsuke Nakamura because I feel like he was someone who was who was pushed very high and then he had like a low period and then they just he just dropped off after a while. Yeah, we don't see Shinsuke anymore. Yeah. You did you know that Shinsuke is on SmackDown? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I understand if you don't know because it you know, but it's just like you have people like that. I still feel the same way about Finn. I think Finn is is a huge example of that, and Finn's drop off has been since he got injured. He's never reached the peak that he had, and he's never lost that championship. And they put him in the Judgment Day, which. All in all, wasn't the wasn't the worst decision, but he was always the third best there because the, most of the focus was on Damian and Rhea. And then when Dom came in, most of the focus was on Dom. So Finn was just pushed back more until they started pushing this Damian and Finn thing. You know what I'm saying? Well, according but there's to so WWE many superstars shop, that like around there. Well, according to WWE shop, uh, Dom is leading the Judgment Day, so Finn is still in the back. He's just the face that's of the promos. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that, that's, that's what I'm saying. And it's like, most of the superstars I can think of are like, it, it's mainly before Triple H started in creative, so I can't really make the same assessment. But I think it's the he same was, company. I think he was writing in creative. I just don't think he had full control like he does now. Like, he was doing stuff while Vince was still there. But he's not like the quote unquote head of the table. Like he is now like he's been writing for years. It's just Vince would have to approve it. Vince doesn't have to approve anything now. That's what I'm saying. There's certain formats that when you follow someone on how they write for so long, you start to adapt some ways of writing, you know, and I'll be honest with you. I still believe that the WWE is in a point where they only care about the people who are like, the big dudes, the big muscle dudes, you know what I'm saying? And I think I, I, I was talking about this a little bit yesterday. They only really like the, the big muscle dudes and everyone else, for the most part, will get pushed to the wayside. Well, that's because Vince has a fetish, but you know. But, but then you got to think about it. All of, the, all of the champions right now are big dudes. Even on NXT, Ethan Page, big dude. Braun Breaker is a big dude, even though he just lost. Roman Reigns, huge dude. Why, would, why was Brock Lesnar being pushed so much for so long? Bobby Lashley was being pushed for a long time. Big E, for some reason, didn't get the push. I don't know why. He won the championship, and they said, nah, you're going to get pinned every week, brother. That's just, that's just how that went, for some reason. But Triple H or Vince, no matter what, this company still has a lot of the same customs that They've always had, you know, and, and someone on Triple H has been able to like suppress and other ones he hasn't. Yeah. And it, it's, it's just, it's just a, it's a character thing and just a, and just a passing the eye testing. Cause the WWE is always trying to get people who don't watch wrestling to get, get them to watch wrestling. And they're most people, most casual fans, they don't want to see the small guys. They don't want to see JD McDonough out there. Oh, they want to see know. Roman Reigns and, and, and Bobby Lashley and Big E. They, they want to see big dudes, big meaty men slapping meat. That's what they want to see. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how they get casual fans in. 
you know. Hey. But it's 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 weird. I just I just don't expect a long championship run from Jay. I think they gave him the Here Nigga Damn Award. <laughs> and then at some point, Jay's either gonna <laughs> lose that belt really quickly back to Braun, and then I'm gonna get really angry. Cause I'm like, oh now I now what I thought y'all did, y'all really did. So I, I really want them to prove me wrong. Because if, if Jay and Braun have another match and Braun wins, I'm a I'm gonna flip this table. Um, I have a question posed here that would have worked before seeing SmackDown last night. Um, the question was, when is Kevin Owens going to finally turn on Cody Rhodes? Will Randy have his back with said turn? Now, the beginning of Raw kind of like answered this question. Um, Kevin Owens is either upset with himself for not cracking the dog shit out out of Cody when he had the opportunity to and or he's he actually is really upset about Cody and Roman teaming up together um he he cut Cody off and was like no we're not doing we're not doing a six man tag tonight it's gonna be me and Randy versus Jacob and Solo and in a way, you could see like Cody like tweak a little bit <laughs> when it happened, and then the locker room segment of um, Kevin and Randy preparing for their match, and Cody comes in, and the way that um, you know he tells Cody, "Yo, stay, stay back here. Don't come out there." Um, like it, it's 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 boiling. And I think that we're boiling to a Kevin versus Cody 2.0. Why? No idea. But (laughs) it's coming. And it's going to be based off of this bloodline stuff. And how he's like currently intertwined still with these people. Yeah, I... I, I just want KO to turn on him now because I, the, the the quicker we get a KO turn on Cody, the quicker we can get KO out of this bloodline story because I'm tired of seeing these three people even against the bloodline and and oh uh, yeah same thing with what I just said about Triple H in these damn methods. If I see another tag team match as the main event of SmackDown, I'm going to break <laughs> something. Yeah, the women really could have had that last night. I'm not gonna lie to you. Or just don't book a six man tag every week. <laughs> like, you know? I, I think Bailey and um Bailey and Naomi was a lot better than that tag match last night. Just saying. Of course. It, it most certainly was. Or y'all can give it to Andrade and Melo since you know we're going for, for a seven. Uh, now that's what I call music. That right there. <laughs> that, that's it right there. Um. Again, hashtag noticing. Um, with the second part of this question, will Randy have his back with the turn? Um, Randy could possibly turn first because he called Cody out there, and then while Cody was talking, he made eye contact with the championship the entire time. He was not listening to Cody. He was looking at that damn championship, and he's been looking at that championship since April seventh, twenty twenty four. So. There's that. Um, so if at any point one of these motherfuckers decide to hit a stunner or an RKO, Cody Rhodes, that is your ass. Um, you know how amazing that would be if Randy beat Cody? Yeah. I I kind of want to see that more than I want to see Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That's That's kind of where my mind has been since WrestleMania. Um, because like the first time they spoke to each other after Mania, Randy was looking at that damn belt. He, like I said, he's been looking at that belt since April. It's almost October. God damn it. (laughs) He been looking. So, um, (sighs) 
what does this current feud do for Roman Reigns? He said he hasn't changed, but internally on, in the WWE roster, he is a face. Like, uh, what does this whole bloodline thing do for him exactly? It gives him uh, closure. <laughs> I mean, it also makes him see like what he's been for the last four years, too, in my opinion. Like, yeah, yeah, that too. Solo studied him for like the last year and a half and has become him, but worse. In a good way and a bad way. <laughs> oh, I was saying my worst is different than your worst. <laughs> I feel like your your worst is like more intense, and my worst is just that nigga's trash. But I'm I I, I mainly just go off for of comparison, bro. I just I, the, the Tribal Chief 2.0 thing isn't working for me. I feel like you need a certain amount of charisma for that. And see, that's the thing. He's showing his personality. They're allowing him to speak again. I see, like, glimpses of the street champ every time he, like, opens his mouth. But he's he's more of, like... I also see a lot of Jimmy in him. That that That's the best way to, to put it. Like, the way that Jimmy was healed last year, but he was still, like comedic with it that's what i see with with solo currently and they're allowing him to be that because this is what solo was on house shows now they're putting it on tv so i don't know i'm i'm enjoying it i've i've always been a solo fan even you know before he was in wwe um so nothing can really change that i'm just happy he, he's speaking now um eventually we're going to they're going to allow Jacob to speak and that's going to be scary um because he can't curse on TV. Uh, that's what I like. <laughs> that's going to be that's like, what I like right there. super fucking scary. Um but as far as Roman, I like I said it's it's holding up a mirror for him. Um the way I see it and honestly I didn't fucking get I'm just being for real. That's the fuck you get. Um, you wanna be a dickhead? Now look, this is you, dickhead. So just that's just it. Um, is there anything else WWE related on here before I move on to um? Oh, what's up? Who do you think wins the damn match of Bad Blood then? me hard questions on purpose these days huh um i think it's open and closed to me if they're going to further this and take cody out of it then roman and cody if they're going to do what i think they're gonna do then Jacob and and Solo may win, but we also have like the, uh, we also have the the posing pending return in the air too, so, with that interference happening, it can go either way. Especially with Roman mentioning Jimmy in that promo, because Jimmy. Jimmy and Paul can easily walk out in Atlanta next weekend and it's just like, oh, shit. You know? That would make things a lot better, I'd say. I was just going to have Jacob pin Roman and just get out of there like that. But because Cody can't get pinned because he's the champion and Solo can't get pinned because if he get pinned one more time, he's going to explode into dust. <laughs> Nigga be getting pinned a lot. And I'm like, bro, I don't like him, but damn, you can't tell me he's a tribal chief and then I will never forget that promo when he just screamed at Jimmy. I was furious that night. I'm like, yeah, there's no was, way. That was Paul's fault, though. Paul said losing has consequences, and he was just like, oh, all right. Well, losing has consequences, so I'm going to whoop my brother's ass so that I can rebuild the bloodline to be my bloodline. Because I don't think that if Jimmy was still involved in this current bloodline, it would be going this way. Because what the fuck would his role be? But he had to That's get Jimmy. He about. had to get Jimmy out the way because... Jimmy wanted to be the tribal chief as well. So if I get rid of my competition and I was already given this role by Roman, 
I can now enforce that I am this person that with this role that was given to me back in December. I can I I can finally put this into place because this nigga's not here. So if I get rid of my competition and I can start rebuilding my own shit, I'm good, which is what happened. But has he been good since? Uh, you know, he just got some angry jailbirds around him. That's what I'm saying. You can't rebuild something on the foundation of winning and you lose everything. <laughs> That's why I've been confused for six months. I'm like, you can't tell me. You can't go from there. I don't care whose fault it was about like why he said it. He said something and laid it as a foundation to lead into, into a new version of the stable. But you're a worse version of the stable. And you've lost twice and just keep coming back. That's not that's not anything that Roman did. That's why all of this stuff is just so transparent to me. Because like, how are you supposed to build a new bloodline on a weaker foundation than the first bloodline? That doesn't make any sense. He lost more than he won since he said we can't lose. And if losing has consequences, where are Solo's consequences? It's like it's easy to say, oh, he's delusional, so he doesn't cut. He doesn't. Well, his consequences is him not having the title. <laughs> That's that is ridiculous. Cause, cause <laughs> not being a champion. <laughs> That's crazy. He was. He wasn't a champion before. Well. That's like, that's like me. That's like me taking away something from you. Hey, I'm. I'm. A, I'm going to take away your freaking your Bentley coupe. You got a two door Bentley coupe. I'm taking away from you. You have a two door Bentley coupe outside your house currently looking outside for this card that you just took okay all right how did you so take I'm, it when i didn't have it to begin with that's mm. what i'm saying how was the consequence <laughs> him not having the championship if he never had the championship what kind of sense does that make we need to find new consequences creed no xavier woods we need to find it now because i'm angry you can't just say oh he's crazy bitch no that doesn't no that doesn't make any sense Triple H. I think if they would have built Solo, I think they if they would have built Solo's character better, um, he probably would have been more accepted as the tribal chief. Everything would have been better if they did his character better. <laughs> because I feel like he was called up too early. Um, I feel like once he got called up, they muted him, so he wasn't really able to show. His personality, like I think, the most personality we seen out of Solo in the Bloodline was when Sammy was around, because Sammy had all them niggas breaking character for fun. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, so they're they're trying to make up for it, but it's too late now. It's way too late. And he needs new gear because his gear still says Street Champ on it, and I don't. Think he's that? So he tried to freak it. He tried to freak it with some elbow pads last night. I saw him. He had on elbow pads last night. I think so. I'm pretty sure when he was walking backstage, like to the match. I'm pretty sure he had elbow pads on. The I saw him, like what the? Let me, what's he about to do? Let me go pull this video up. No I never see you do an elbow drop. Now you got elbow pads on. <laughs> no upgrade. No, 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 no. He think he got VC. You are such a fucking hater. Nah, you can't go and go into freaking VC freaking elbow pads. You know. I hope this damn sound doesn't play in the middle of the. Let me just do this. Mute everything that's not us. <laughs> um, while oh, I pull this footage up. Um, so, mommy said that her dream war games team is um. The shit still decided to speak in my ear. Is her, Bianca, Jade, EO Sky, and Kyrie Sane. That's a freaking OP behind team. Oh my God. <laughs> Who's going against them? Shit. He has on one elbow pad, sir. Just one. He ain't never wore no elbow pads before. Let me go see if I can find an old solo match. Why you? Why you talking shit about my man's? But he um, has elbow pads. <laughs> but uh, I think that 
Um, I think they're good though. That that that's a good team. That's a scary team. But that's a that's an amazing team. Yeah, that's a that's fire right there. I'm getting mad fucking uh random ass messages on TikTok right now from one uh TJ Gatsby. Oh. Oh wait, you're right. He didn't even ha- he didn't have on an elbow pad at fucking SummerSlam. What the fuck? I know he's trying to step his swag up, and I don't appreciate it. Oh, maybe something's wrong with his elbow. Yo, fuck off. It's, he fucking. Oh, hate here it. we go. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking hate it. He would wrap it up, not put an elbow pad on it. The kind of crap. But you don't know that. You don't know his. Nah, he was in the locker room. He was like, "Nah, I'm gonna kill him with this." You don't know what his blood circulation is about. Yeah. Um. Okay, so in AEW news, <laughs> oh. um, something that we've reported on before, um, something that's been floating around, and something that I think I might have saw with my own two eyes at one point, um, AEW's pay-per-views to stream on HBO Max beginning in January. I I I knew that they were moving like their catalog and stuff there. I believe it's actually up there, but to stream from from there i'm for it because i'm tired of bootleg sites and i have hbo max so congratulations on your Warner brother deal i guess that would be great if that could like if that was like finally <laughs> please i would like to watch them I would like to watch the AEW pay-per-views in total on HBO Max at that. I was hoping they didn't go for like freaking Paramount, Paramount or something because Paramount's app, their streaming app works like they don't want you to use it. So I was hoping that they went to at least some like an app that was like user friendly and HBO Max so far is, oh, Max, excuse me, I can't call it HBO anymore. It's very user friendly, so. I'm happy that that you said what you said um about max not being uh user friendly and 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 i'm happy that somebody else sees it other than me because i have that damn well not not max but paramount because i have it for my uh my roku tv in the kitchen right and i promise you i got one of one of my uh one of my mods on from Twitch bought me that TV when I went to Disney, right? Mm. I kid you not. Probably like two weeks into me being in Florida, the Paramount app stopped working on the TV. Like I would open it and then it would load and then it would force close. To this day, that shit still don't fucking work. That was two years, damn near two years ago at this point. It, it worked for two weeks and then it just doesn't it doesn't work anymore. I stopped paying for Paramount because there wasn't really anything on there for me to watch other than um the challenge and I can watch that on bootleg sites. I don't need fucking Paramount for that. But it's just like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> like fix y'all shit. They ain't gonna fix it because they don't even care. Man, that they Paramount hasn't worked right. In mad long. I, I only used it to watch SpongeBob. The new one? The only the reason. Joints? No, just oh. like old SpongeBob from 1999 to 2008. Maybe 2009, if we're getting lucky. I stopped because, ugh. But and then, like, I think Keenan and Kel was on it. But now Keenan and Kel's on Netflix. I don't think all the episodes are on there. I'm pretty sure they moved Keenan and Kel to Netflix. So now oh, I really oh. don't need it. My God, Swerve! I can't fucking stand you, you stupid black bitch. Ugh. Oh, I know I said a lot of bad words just now. I'm not bleeping it out either. Um, he confirmed to Queen Flips that AEW is moving to Fox, but I think it's Fox Sports. I don't think it's like. <laughs> I don't think it's. I don't think it's Channel Sixty One. I think it's Fox Sports. All right. Good luck with that. With, with all that blood and cussing, y'all gonna have to clean all yeah. that shit up because them Republicans do look. not play like that. 
<laughs> she's gonna be black. It's gonna like a damn rave. They're gonna black, white, black, white, black. They're gonna black the whole damn <laughs> broadcast out. Okay, you better not be on Fox. Fox Sports, they may get away with something. No, FS1 might be worse. FS1 might be worse. I don't think wrestling should be on Fox. I, th- I think Fox is like, no, we don't like wrestling. You're going to bring the more edgy wrestling show over there? Man. How easy? Why couldn't they just go and try to revive Spike TV like TNA? Why are you going to Fox? You're not, you're not helping the people who say you just follow after what, Ed, what WWE does. And we just told you, Triple H put, gave Tony Khan the biggest tip, said, hey, bro, don't go to Fox. They black out everything. Don't go here. All right. I'm sorry. I was looking at that clip of Jacob flinging his fucking hair in the ring last night and Kevin Owens' fucking face was hilarious. <laughs> he went and he stood in the camera shot just to look disgusted. And because Jacob was flinging fucking water out of his hair, it got in Kevin's face. And he like wiped his face. It was like, ew. <laughs> Why is he so scared? That's no problem. I see so scary. Naomi also Naomi is just like me. I know we were talking about AEW, but like I'm on Twitter looking for like the clip that I played for you earlier. And I she's just like me. She's just like me. Like I make that face too when Tiffany's voice appears, you know, out of thin air. Yeah. Her gear last night was top tier. I love that. Oh, well, you wanna hear the bullshit that happened this week that 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 involves her gear? Oh, so mommy trinity got on twitter and she said she has two gears that she hasn't worn yet that are ready to go so she had a leopard print one and she had the uno one right so she put a poll on twitter she said which one should i wear you guys the poll ended in a 50 50 split right so then i think she put up another one and Uno won. Did I? When I tell you the girls was jumping on her like she was the one that made the fucking choice. Oh, the the glow the glow sticks were being so fucking dramatic on Twitter. They were like the who the glow sticks. (laughs) Oh, that's what y'all doing? The glow sticks. Oh, well, Jay's fans are Jay's fans are called the juice boxes. I knew that. I knew that. I. I, I I kept my thoughts to myself about that. I didn't, I didn't know the glow sticks. Oh, so okay, my fault. They were up in fucking arms. They were like, "Justice for the leopard print," because it had like the wig matched the gear perfectly. It was like a blonde wig with like with like leopard print on it and like different colors inside the leopard print and like the gear was the same. I didn't like the gear personally. It looked a little stretchy and a little a little ugly because after this she said she's retiring the wigs we're getting natural hair naomi back so I'm, I'm i'm fine with all of that like fuck that shit put that shit in the tuck and wear it at a house show goddamn i, I don't give a fuck i don't want to see it on tv <laughs> so they were right. eating her up for like two days they were just crying about it she was like guys i didn't i didn't pick y'all should have just voted like it's not it's not my fault but the gear ate the fuck down and you know who else put their two cents in? And we're going to get on her in a second. Mercedes Monet also picked the oh, fucking... Ghost. She also picked the fucking Uno goddamn uh, gear. So, fuck y'all. <laughs> yeah, Mercedes picks it, then, then I, I I pick it too. <laughs> so, so, fuck y'all. Also, she's running her fucking mouth again. Who gave her a podcast? No idea. But she's also said it on The Breakfast Club and some more radio interviews in New York this week. Mercedes Monet doesn't think she'll go back to WWE right now with the quote, AEW is my home right now. Girl, boo. Man, because right, everybody's trying to hear all that. As soon as, as soon as you sign them fucking papers to AEW, you got on somebody's podcast and said that you're only at AEW for now and that WWE is your home and that you're going back. So who the fuck are you fooling? You heard, I was, why, I was, I, we all saw you. I don't know why you, and I, there's nothing wrong with Mercedes, with what Mercedes said. Because if you listen to what she said, all she said was, 
It's her home right now. So, of course, she's not going to say anything about going back to WWE right now because she's the double champion in AEW right now. I don't know why people were mad in the first place. Now, do I think she should be doing 18 interviews every week? No, <laughs> I don't. But She shouldn't have her own podcast as, a, as an active wrestler either. As an active oh, full-time wrestler. Shut your ass that's, up. That, that, isn't that just like the wrestlers that have like the stream and stuff? They're not talking about work. They're playing video games. Well, yeah, but think about <laughs> what company we're in, okay? Mercedes Monet's contract, I think Mercedes Monet's contract said, let me do everything I want, nigga. And Tony Khan said, here you go. Here's $25 million trillion. Thank you, and then left. That's what I think. I think the contract was those words on it, and that's it, and then just sign here because... Mercedes, of course she's not going to say, oh, I'll see you at WrestleMania 42. She can't say that. Tony Khan's giving her every coin in his, in his damn piggy bank. She's not going to say anything that's not, I love AEW. I, have I saw people words. mad about it. I'm like, what are, what are you mad bad, about? I have really, really bad words to say, but I can't say them at the moment because we're talking about a different company. Um oh. <laughs> I'm just looking at all these pictures of Nikita Lyons, and I have I have things to say to her directly. Um, Who's doing her gear? We need to we, uh, Nikita. You cool? I fuck with you. Not a lot of people do, but I fuck with you. But God, I, I I need I we need to get better gear for you because you be in there fighting she, the gear. It's not even that she needs better gear. She needs to fucking walk straight. Her fucking ankles crooked. Like she's walking like fucking Bambi in this picture I'm looking at. Well, she's coming off with two ACL injuries. She'll and she never been be and she been twerking since. Get the fuck out of here with the bullshit. Anyway, Tony man, if I oh I almost said something really bad and you would have got really angry at me, but I'm not gonna say that because I had a woo. Oh God, no, I just. Uh, if you can shake ass, you can walk in a straight line. What? <laughs> That's it. That's all I can say. No, like I'm gonna show you what her ankle looks like. Her ankle look like it's gonna give out. Um, Tony Storm I'm has sure resurfaced. <laughs> Tony Storm has resurfaced. Uh, in stardom, not AEW. Oh, yeah, she had her first match in stardom yesterday, last night, I believe. Um, with Mina, they tag teamed. Um, I forgot who the, who they went against, but the match. Uh, it, I guess there's clips of it on Twitter at the moment. Um, but she has uh resurfaced. Um, there has been no signs of the timeless Tony Storm since All In when she lost to Mariah May. Um, but it looks like she's all good and ready to do the thing and they also did the the black and white effect with the camera so shout out to them over there in stardom they you know keep her production for uh her gimmick up and and running um we're gonna go back to wwe really quick um i saw this post on twitter and it said uh this user posted how they would book roman reigns up until uh wrestlemania so oh. bad, the Bad Blood match, um, which we know what that is. Um, Crown Jewel, Roman versus Solo. Um, War Games. Um, you know how the War Games match, how everyone's been predicting that. <laughs> um, Saturday night main event, uh, Roman versus Cody. Royal Rumble, he enters the match and eliminates Jacob. Elimination Chamber, Roman versus Jacob. And then WrestleMania would be Roman versus Rock. Thoughts? If I have to hear Roman Reigns versus The Rock one more time. It, they still haven't done the match yet, so you're going to hear it until it happens. I can't wait until this match happens. As much as I don't want it to happen, the other half of me can't, can't wait. Because... It's not going to set in for y'all how bad this match is going to be until that bell rings and y'all realize they can't just stare at each other for 20 minutes. That's funny. And I'm, I'm, 
I'm locking in on that, and I don't care what happens. Y'all not going to convince me that Rock's going to put on a five-star match. And guess what? I've heard so many people tell me that it doesn't matter if it's a good match or not, and that that that, that really grinds my gears, bro, because, like, bro, we're watching wrestling. Yes, it matters if the match is good. We're not sitting here and watching them stare at each other and do whole different kind of camera angles and then trade punts, trade punts, people's elbows, Superman punts, one, two, three, spear. What are we doing? Yeah. Rock has been playing y'all for five years. Let's just realize that, hey, Rock and Roman was supposed to happen years ago. But Rock was playing Vin Diesel Playing, let's do Fast and the Furious Wait. 93. <laughs> playing with Vin Diesel and John Cena on Fast and the Furious trying to save Holy the moon shit. from a star in a freaking 97 Camaro. Uh-huh. Y'all, in big 2025, y'all want to see half of rock. He's not even rock no more. He damn near, I don't know, what's, what's, what's less than a rock? A sediment? A pebble? Oh. No, no pebble, pebble will be small. Rock's still big. He don't, he not, he not, like, what are we doing? Uh-huh. You're going to have prime Roman versus half prime rock. And no, out of prime rock. Excuse me. Rock has been lying to y'all for six years. I'm out of shape. The rock ain't never been out of shape in his entire life. Ring shape, in ring shape. He's out of in ring no, shape. <laughs> no, no, I'm not letting. No, I'm not letting people get. I'm tired of hearing that. The rock <laughs> has never been out of in ring shape in his life. He was born two thirty. <laughs> Nigga came out the womb with a six pack. Stop this, the rock. Now that's uh, where I have to stop you. He can't what? actually get one of those. He, he can't actually get one of those. He, well, tore he them. had abs then. Oh, no. oh wait he a minute. Tore, he tore the muscle off the skin so he can't get a six pack, sir. In, this, in the Cena match? Is that, wasn't that the Cena match? Uh, I don't. I'm second not sure. One, no, I'm not I sure. think it was the second one. I'm not sure if it was a Cena match. I'm sure that happened in like WWF. I thought he. He ripped some kind of. I, I thought he ripped the, ab, the, yeah, the abdomen also in. I. In the Cena match. Ah, shit. Yeah, I was getting the wrong person. I, I, I think he said it during one. I was watching one of the documentaries when they did a fake ass once <clears> in a <throat> lifetime, then twice in a lifetime, then, you know. I think he said that he tore that muscle um, in the Cena match. My point is, Rock has never been out of in ring shape. This nigga eats 14 pancakes, 27 pigs. A damn 47 eggs in a, in, a, in a glass, drinks that, then goes to the gym, clanging and banging, then goes back, does a music video with Tech 9 films 18 Fast and the Furious movies, comes back, eats another 18 cows. What are you talking about, Rock? <laughs> I'm not letting nobody... People have been lying to me about Rock as Rock has been lying to y'all. I... Rock isn't like that anymore. Y'all gonna get in there and get him not get the rock knocked out of him. He's just gonna be ock <laughs> after that match. He go, gonna go into that John Rock. He gonna leave ock. <laughs> Roman gonna knock every <laughs> mount of Sonic rings out that boy. We and already it's gonna look seen... like Undertaker and Triple H had that match. And Undertaker couldn't walk. It's gonna oh. rock gonna look like that. We already seen what happened when Roman speared Rock at WrestleMania. He sort of like he got shot. <laughs> Twelve gauge. <laughs> And Rock's been selling like that. Remember when Punk clotheslined him and he just sold that like he just got hit with a cannon? <laughs> that's just I think that's just great selling by the Rock. You know, the, the Rock is great. This, this is not this is not a I hate Rock thing. This is just a Rock ain't this ain't this ain't a Rock that can get in the ring with prime Roman Reigns and I'm just, just take all these moves. I'm just I'm just shocked that you was able to go on this rant like this. With Bianca fangirling over Larry on the screen the entire time. That's that's okay. what's so amazing to me. <laughs> I could, nah, because that, that's the moment. You know, I, we're gonna have him as a guest on this podcast at some point, and I, I'm gonna call him out, Mitri. Oh. Clip this and send this to Mitri right now. Oh shit! I never forgot when you told me 
that the Rock and Roman match didn't match the quality of the match didn't matter. I've never forgotten that, bro. I love you. I really do. But that made me punch my wall. Cause what are you talking about in wrestling? The wrestling don't matter. Oh shit. What are they gonna do? Sit there and do a rap battle? What are they gonna do? A dance battle? What, what are they gonna play? Uno. Mm. When the bell rings, Rock is gonna have to wrestle, okay? We saw how mad he was in that documentary. Oh yeah. He lied in that entire documentary. As great as the documentary was, he lied in that entire thing. Yeah, I me and Triple H decided to call it WrestleMania, and then I decided if we get the fans and the people and the millions together, and we can create. Shut up, Dwayne. Shut up. Shut up. Don't lie to my face like that, and 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 don't and, and wear that jacket. Don't lie to me like that, bro. Don't lie to me and rock has been lying to y'all for six years because y'all not gonna act like act like y'all wanted to see rock and roman only when roman was the tribal chief y'all been waiting for that ever since freaking 2015 when rock when, when roman won the fucking rumble and rock came out there and hold his hand all right people wanted him to rock bottom roman right there i was what roman and rock was yes here <laughs> In the crowd in Philadelphia booed him out the building because Roman ain't so good. So 2025 in this isn't a bad idea to do the match. Then that would be 10 years to the date that he gave him like the rock rub. You know, ten years. Yeah, what's the problem? Ten years. I think. That ten. I'm just throwing shit at the wall right now. <laughs> rock, rock was supposed to wrestle. Ro- when Roman fought Undertaker for no reason, why couldn't Rock have that match against Roman? You guys are the wrong person. That I'm not. I don't mean to ask you because you you didn't do it. I mean to ask the people. I mean to ask Vince McMahon. Well, I don't want to ask him anything at this current moment or any time anymore in, the, in this life. But in just in theory, Vince McMahon had multiple chances to do a Rock and Roman match. And now Triple H is here, and y'all gonna act like the match is still gonna be the same? I hope that match is bad. I hope it's bad. I hope both of them come out healthy. I hope Rock don't break him shit, break his shit, and Roman don't get hurt at all. So I think I, I have 100% belief Roman will be fine. I don't want anyone to get hurt, but I promise you that match is not going to be as good as everyone wants it to be. And I, I don't, I, people can be mad at me. It doesn't matter if you're mad or not. Boohoo, nigga. It doesn't matter. You're watching an old rock fight a prime Roman Reigns and expecting a good match about it, or not caring about the match and just caring about the the aura. The uh, y'all learned the word aura and haven't stopped saying it. Since. <laughs> Shut up. Well, y'all haven't looked up the definition of the word. Y'all just uh, the aura. It the uh. I, This isn't world aura entertainment wrestling. No, the middle word is inter- it's, <laughs> it's wrestling. You have to wrestle and entertain. Of course, it's going to be entertaining because there's two megastars in the ring. But then they're going to have to lock up. And Rock's going to have to do some... You know how they all start to match off with the bouncing off the ropes, dropping, and then the headlocks and all that stuff? When Rock start huffing and puffing, and then when... when <laughs> you know what told me how, how done Rock was? When I looked at Rock's face when, when at WrestleMania, when Cody put him through that table, and I saw me get... I, <laughs> that was my. That's what I saw. How tired Rock, Rock was. Oh, Meek screaming at him, "Get up!" Rock can't get up. Tells him, "Get up, Rock." He can't. He can't breathe right now. He hurt. Rock is 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 in dire straits right now. Now it's a tag match, and y'all want him to do a a possible 15, 20 minute match with Roman, who can go an hour. Roman still got miles in the tank. Rock ain't got that. He was huffing and puffing when he pinned Cody. Go ahead. Have the aura. Have have the aura off. I promise you. I can go right now on my 2K24 game and put Roman Reigns versus The Rock and they'll put on a better match than what they're going to do whenever they have that match. Is what it is. That you know, looking at this clip that was punishment. He yeah, that is that is true. Never no sell Randy Orton. Just don't do that. Um cuz he will make you feel that motherfucker. He was definitely beat the dog shit out of uh, Jacob. What are you talking about? 
when he tried to put Jacob through that table and Jacob got up and was like, ah! And then he put him, like, on the table three more times after that. Oh. So, I feel like people, no one that's told Randy wrestling isn't real. <laughs> or Ilya. <laughs> for that matter. Yeah, him too. <laughs> There's a few people that, that they just never told that wrestling wasn't real. And those, because the, 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 Randy would, like, and genuinely get me. I'm like, did y'all go over this? Or you, and you, you know what? mad in the ring. And you know what? Thinking thinking back to the debate that was on Talk with Blaze this week with with Neff and um and Josiah, and uh Neff made the point of Randy Orton's heel character was just Randy at that time. Like that was his personality. There's so many stories of Randy Orton being a dickhead to fans, to everyone in the locker room, to him just being this like big cocky fuck you type of guy. He he's he said he had to like reflect on life and realize, oh shit, like I'm not likable. I should probably dial this back. And like he reevaluated himself and we have the Randy Orton that we all have today. But like you said, ain't nobody ever told that man that wrestling ain't real. So he still got that mentality up there where he could fuck you up and just be like, Well, oh well, bitch. <laughs> and that just oh, be for real. <laughs> oh shit. Um, this this video right here. I I just want to watch it from the beginning. I want to hear it with sound, actually. Oh my ear! Is that who you were asking for after surgery? Hi. How you doing? He loves ladies. No, he loves ladies. I was just saying that again. That's the first person I've seen him get excited in my ear. Watch the video. Open the thing. Then I got the 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 chick magnet on. He's gooey for the time. Sorry, I spoke to Larry before everybody else. <laughs> he appreciates it. Punk brought Larry to work Monday. <clears throat> and um are you are you looking at the, the full screen? The, the the screen on Discord? Yeah. You you see that he's in a baby carriage? Yeah. He's in a rolling bassinet, bro. Your dog is like forty five. He can walk. I've seen that a lot, like recently, for some reason. I, I didn't that's, know a lot of people put like dogs in strollers. Well, that's a white people thing. So you know, um, <clears throat> I, think I, they, I, I thought it was efficient. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> they do have like the curious for like the smaller dogs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, Larry was at Raw this past Monday. He got to walk around the ring and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I don't I don't know if you heard it, but. Punk said, I did it backwards. I got married and then I got the chick magnet dog. Watch your mouth. Your wife can whoop your ass. Um, That's very crazy. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Larry is was also in Triple H's chair on Monday when Jay Uso got the win. So shout out to Larry. That's the only great thing you've ever done for this company. Um, you know, he, oh. he produced he produced that match with Braun and Jay. What do you mean? You know? Oh, so he's the one I should be angry at. Yeah. I, t I tell okay. people all the time, anything involving CM Punk, blame it on Larry. Larry, nine times out of ten, has something to do with whatever the fuck, fuck shit Punk got going on. I, I, and I truly fucking mean that shit. That dog is trouble. He's messy. Pharaoh would never do some shit like that. Pharaoh beat in the crib, minding his business. Well... He ain't got no choice but to be in the crib now because Cody said he's, you know, he's not taking him on the road anymore. But still, you know. Um, But I, I played know. something for you off mic before we started the pod. And I would like for the people of um, our listening world to be here. So this podcast is called um, They Made Their Way to the Ring. Um, and on episode 32, they spoke to former WWE superstar or former WWE diva because I think by the time she left they were still called divas um, Layla and here's what she had to say Would you ever be interested in grabbing a spot in the Rumble and what might that look like? Uh, in the past it was no I, I wasn't I was done you know I was it just was over for me I, I was invited back uh, 2021 I think I want to say I was invited, Pat, but I couldn't go. I couldn't do it. So it just didn't work out. But 
honestly, um, I would like to go back. Maybe, yeah. I think it would be fun. I think I should. I think I should. I think um, why shouldn't I go back? And why just to just to go back again and also to see the fans again and some people who want to see me come back. I think I would like to do that. If you well, could before, see my face right old. now. <laughs> before I get too old. I'm just trying no, to say, no, 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 before no. I get too old, I'm just scared of getting hurt. So I think that too. I don't want to get hurt. But I think one night, why not? I'd like to go back down memory lane too and just, just see it. Because to me, it's so long ago. It's like a distant memory, you know? I'll be well, very listen, nervous, if, nervous. If you do me So? React. As Joe Biden would say. I'm very excited. And Michelle McCool came back, and I've been. I was like, you know what? I we're probably not going to get it anymore. But I, I still was a was a huge. Um, I wanted Lake Cool to have like another run with those. At least being a tag team, because the tag team championships are have been there, and I feel like Lake Cool at the time that was the one of the perfect times to have a, a tag team championship. If, if just to keep them on Lake Cool, because they were like. Both of them were the women's champion at some point. They they broke the belt in half, and they were both walking around with two halves of a championship. And I'm like, huh. Now looking at it the way it is now, it would have been a great team to just be tag team champions, women's tag team champions. You know, there weren't that many tag teams around that time either. You know, they were most of the time, from what I remember, a lot of the tag teams besides Lake Cool were just thrown together. But um, I think they had a few. I think they had a few. So it's like. I don't know, but I would love for Michelle McCool and Layla to have a, a match um, again. If it's not a match, then just like an interaction, I think that would be cool. Layla's always been one of my favorites, so I mean, I would love to see her back at any point, especially in a Rumble. Can you read this for me? Randy Orton told Cody Rhodes to help him in his match, saying he let Kevin Owens know. It turned out that he never told KO until after Cody came out. He's playing the long game. He wants Cody to lose it all before he turns. <laughs> so, you know, well, shit, I mean, <laughs> I'm on board. I'm on board. I'm definitely on board with that. Randy, I, I, I think Randy should beat Cody and then the only way Cody gets that belt back, um, the only way Cody gets that belt back, if Cody turns heel in the way, and then we have a, a heel Cody versus a face Randy. I feel like everyone's expecting heel Randy, and that's that's heel Randy is just second to nature, you know. But people also want Cody to like have some edge to him and not just be. That's been one of my biggest criticisms of Cody for a long time now. As much as I love him. There's not much difference between the American Dream and the American Nightmare. And they have two nicknames, but the same personality. So if you're the, a, a nightmare, it insinuates that you're bad. Or at least that, you, that you're negative. So you should have a negative connotation to your character, not just be the same, oh, hi, guys, I love you. You know what I'm saying? But we all know why Cody is that. That's, Cody was going to be that ever since he came back. They already decided that. But... For Cody, I think, to get some people back on his side that may have dropped off, or people who never believed him in the first place, he's going to have to get some edge to him. He's going to have to get some nightmare aspect to him. And we've seen him be a heel in different companies. You know? So, he had a, he, most, a lot of his indie run, he was a heel. Doing Bullet Club stuff. And, and, and AEW, where they tried to get him to turn He was heel, saying a that, lot of bad words when no. he was in the indies. Oh, my God. Sir cuts yeah. a lot. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So it's not it's not a thing that he can't do. So why not try it? Huh. Yeah, I, I, I definitely would. I definitely would um appreciate Randy beating I, I don't know where Randy would beat Cody. I, I'm still a component for like yeah, but y'all can tell by my rant earlier that I don't care to see Rock and Roman at WrestleMania 41. I think Roman and Cody should have a, a third match at WrestleMania 41. Um, so that that kind of changes the direction of things, but I don't know. 
I don't know. Why am I seeing a video of, of Caitlyn getting pinned? <laughs> <laughs> Who's pinning her? Who is that? It's one of the Bellas, right? It's Brie. Next. <laughs> Rhea and her stud era was great. Those are good times. Um. Well, do you want to play a game? And then we can get back into foolishness. Okay. While you're looking at the screen, I'm going to pull something up for you. Can't wait till they change this, you know, take her off. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, they're no, winner. No, no. They're winner graphics are fucking generic as shit boom all right so where are you sitting or <laughs> okay well can i get it out first so let the sorry, listeners know sorry. what we're looking at i'm sorry table one judgment day 2.0 table two bloodline 2.0 table three rock and roman table four our women's tag team champions bianca and jade table five randy and ko table six damage control table seven the triplets of terror <laughs> sorry Ew. and table <laughs> table eight chelsea green and piper Niven. ma'am you said rock and that, that was cody rhodes i said rock and roman yeah Cody and Roman. Anyway, I'm going to table seven because I know it's going to be loud over there. And then I might slide by table four. Nah, you can't come over our table. I'm, I'm in the big three now. Big five. What? Big five. Carmelo Hayes is not in the big three. Yes, he is. He, oh yes, he is. He's really God. in there. <laughs> Yes, he is. <laughs> he's literally in there. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> not in the... he's literally just, in there. Just because he's black doesn't put him in there. I didn't say anything about him being. I but the... I can't say yeah, I didn't being black. I didn't say anything about him being black. All I said was Carmelo Hayes is in the big three. He said it. He walked up to him and said, "I'm in." That's how it works. And then Jade said, "You still getting your ass beat by Andrade, so we don't know about that." And then Melo just beat on Friday last night. So what? He's in. Thank you. Um, but what? yeah, I'm going to slide over to table seven because um, I just know Damian Priest going to have all the cookies like he was still in that Dom's wedding. You don't know nothing about that. Oh. He okay. cleared out the cookies at Dom's wedding. <laughs> Rhea's over there. Jay's over there. So I want to be up in a business. So I'm for sure going to that table. Um just to see what's going on over there in JS Spirits and stuff. Um, so that was the game for the week. Uh, I kind of want to talk about NXT a little bit. Carmelo Hayes is a little too good at backstage fights. Not a picture of him talking to, talking to Punk. Y'all funny. He's That's, awesome, man. Everybody. No, the, the, no, they're saying that he learned from Punk. That's what they're saying. I'll take it. Shit. So, last night's dark match at SmackDown was Liv Morgan versus Zelina Vega. <laughs> Damn, she just knocked the shit out of her. What the fuck? <laughs> nope, that. I'm 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 glad that this feud is living on in, in dark matches. Um, I want it back on TV, but we know that's not gonna happen anytime fucking soon. So, yeah. Oh, should I bring my um? Should I bring my title belt to SmackDown on, in December? Yeah, why not? Because knowing me, I'm not going to want to carry that bitch because it's heavy. Yeah, why not? Think about it. Yo, yo, yo. When Naya, when Naya choked out Tiffany. First of all, Tiffany looks like she wants to laugh. That's one. Two... I just want it to be next. 
Jesus. I am about to lose, bro, and I'm going to rejoice. So does she lose to Bailey and then uh, Tiffany cashes in? I hope so. I, I hope she doesn't <laughs> cash in until <laughs> after them. Like, I want the match to end and then a cash in. But I, I want to do that, that, it. And that's, that, and that's why I asked that because remember SummerSlam last year, Bianca won and then EO cashed in. So do we get a repeat of something like that? Um in the match or like what like how does that happen does naomi interfere in the match if tiffany tries to cash in during the match like i i just you know you could do that too they, they, they have they have a, a lot of a lot of ways they can go about that they, you could definitely do that too that was when stephanie yeah. had them fresh tits man oh my god they were fresh in the air and poking that was a, cr- a very vulgar statement you just said there, man. Because they're looking at a clip of Booker T looking at Stephanie's boobs. Yeah, but my <laughs> God. They were fresh. Those were, those, those were fresh implants. Oh. It just came across the top of my phone. Some bullshit. Um, Triple H, you will pay for your crimes. Um, I don't think Bailey should have won last night. That's what I said. I thought the dumpster match was going to be la- tonight. Well, I mean, last night, but apparently, it's always been scheduled for for um, Nashville. I don't think Nashville deserves a match like that, but you know, that's not my business. Um, what Nashville do you? You know, I have terror stories about that fucking city. I haven't been back to Tennessee since. Oh, I, they! I got robbed in fucking Nashville. Oh, you did say that? Yeah. Um, you know, I thought she was gonna hit Bailey with a submission. I was, I was absolutely waiting for her to hit her with a submission move, and it just didn't happen. And it, it and it upset me a lot. It upset <laughs> me a lot. I was like, she's gonna do it, and then she just, you know, it just didn't happen. She didn't do it. Mm-mm. Yeah, I much read. I, I much. I really would appreciate it if, if Naomi had the match against Nia. That I have to watch Niffany, Niffany, Naomi versus <laughs> Tiffany for the, <laughs> the fourth time. I, I, hello. Yeah. Okay. It had like like roboted out, so I thought she like died or something. Um, I, I, I don't know. It's just something about like, I don't know. Like every time I think he has something bigger planned for her, he doesn't. And like, it's just like, bro, what are you doing? Like you're proving the point of why she left other than the fact that she was being berated backstage by a freaky horny nasty man. Um, I didn't watch the doc, so if you want to talk about it, go figure. But I didn't watch it. Um, nope, I don't talk about it. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> see how easy that was, guys. Um, I'm doing no breakdown of nasty, freaky man. No, I'm okay. It just, yeah. I, I I'm excited for Bianca and Jade to be hosting uh, Bad Blood. That is the blackest thing they could have done. First of all. In Atlanta, and then y'all gonna have two melanated queens host, and hopefully they do a better. They have better like hosting spots than what Trish Stratus had at um, Money in the Bank because I feel like they were like, "Oh, you're the host," and then she only like came out twice. So, yeah. and then what? And, 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 yeah, like in one of those times was to introduce John Cena for John Cena to like make everybody cry. Like what the fuck? Um, I didn't cry. I jumped for joy, but. Um, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, don't, don't apologize. This is your platform as well. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, I just I I think that that's great since they don't have a match. Um, so when that package popped up, I was just like, okay, good. They're doing something. Like the titles are gonna be seen. Um, so there's no male tag team t- uh matches set for Bad Blood. There's well, obviously, there's no IC title. Because Jay won on Monday, 
Although, I'm not crazy, and multiple people have said that that match was supposed to fucking happen at Bad Blood. So Jay was actually supposed to win that title at Bad Blood, but they decided to put it on Raw. I, whatever. Um, there's no IC uh, title match. Uh. <laughs> there's no IC title match. Um, I think they didn't do it there because, like, Braun and Jay doesn't have a few. They just, like, their families just have history. That's why they didn't do it there. I think that's that, that might have been Because if you look at the card, the card is just full of feuds. I'm going to actually do that now. Um, Rikishi finally spoke about Solo on his podcast. Oh, joy. Right? He finally mentioned his son. Very proud. I'm going to open this tab up, too. Oh, that's... Okay. I'm going to open that, too. Um, Bad Blood next week. Previews. Let's hit it. Hell in a Cell, Drew McIntyre, CM Punk, Damian Priest versus Finn Balor. This match should also have a stipulation on it, but whatever. Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley. I believe this is for the title. With uh, They're going to go with the original custody of Dom uh, um, thing, where they're going to hang Dom over the fucking uh over the ring i gotta put him in a shark cage um that's that's crazy uh but they should also bar the rest of the judgment day from this match as well just saying um and then you have the tag match of roman reigns cody rhodes versus jacob fatu and solo sokoa and then just added last night is Bailey versus Nia Jax. I just saw something that caught my eye, and I'm going to be nosy. Saturday night main event packages. Brother. These aren't bad. These aren't bad at all. Um, and they're the same prices, so they're really not super bad. Um, the priority pass for the champion, it's the champion package is $500. You have premium ringside seats, uh, in-ring photo op, um, hospitality uh, pre-show with superstars, and a dedicated entrance at the uh, arena. The thing with the the pre-show hospitality thing, they're going to give you really, really good food, and then they're going to give you mid-carters or people who you don't really see on TV that walk in in there. Uh, As someone who experienced the the hospitality pre-show thing um, for Raw and SmackDown during WrestleMania weekend. That's exactly what that is. Um, so you're telling me I'm not going to see the Tribal Chief? You're not going to see Roman Reigns, no. <laughs> so, basically, um, I don't think Roman's going to be here in December either. They put out his schedule in my email. Give me a second while I open Why don't we go to this? Uh, that's the next day. That's literally yeah, the next why don't day. Why we go to this? Do you uh, do you want to go to Long Island? I don't want to go to Long Island. No, I don't want to go to Long Island. But okay, I then. <laughs> say OTC or Roman Reigns, something like that. See, there we go. Ah, yep. Oh no, they don't have the December schedule for Roman out yet. Why are his eyes blue? <laughs> I just got, really got mad. No, no, no. I'm bringing the concept missed. back. I'm bringing the concept back. I just got really, really angry. Okay, so yeah, Roman Roman Reigns' schedule for October and November is October 11th, 18th, 25th, November 8th, 15th, and the 22nd. His December dates are not out. But back to this. Uh, here, it's just a premium seating. It doesn't. If I'm getting a gold package and I that y'all, premium? Y'all exact that's what I'm saying. All the way up here in two oh five uh, two oh five is crazy. I mean two oh three is Again, crazy. No, they're bugging. No, no, they're bugging. Well, like oh. down in two is fine, right? But $1, then $1, that's section four. That's right here. That's 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 doing a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. 
it says starting at 500 just for the 500 to be in the fucking nosebleeds. That makes absolutely no sense. That's the thing that I don't really like about On Location. Although I've given them my money. I gave them my money for WrestleMania 40. I I just... I, they be bending you over and telling you to take it. I promise you they do. Oh. Because my my tickets for WrestleMania, I paid $750. I did a payment plan. I uh, My tickets were $750. Um, I, I got um, a hat, a clear bag, a pin, and something else that came with that package um, in my lanyard. Um, I was... I, I, I wouldn't say nosebleeds because I wasn't super high up, but I was in the 200s. Um, but I had a direct view of the ring. Like, when I, from where I was at, I could see literally anything and everything in the ring. Um, and that, like I said, that was 750 for both nights. For SmackDown, SmackDown Priority Pass was 600 And 600 for raw priority pass and i had the same seats for both nights um and it came with the hospitality the pre-show hospitality the land in the lanyard the food was bussing I'll, I'll give it that i got to meet bobby lashley and street profits and bfab um when they were the pride at the time um that was smackdown raw apparently diy came out and zaya lee missed them by like a millisecond, because me and Loft was very late to Raw that fucking Monday, as uh-huh. we were fucking eating and shit. Um, and when I got there, Piper Niven, uh, Tegan Knox, and uh, my favorite person in the world, uh, Nikki Cross, um, were there. Um, I. T- that interaction with Nikki will forever like be everything because she remembered me from like a very very long time ago and that was that was fucking awesome. Um, the people, the people have um inquired about the elite package for WrestleMania uh, forty one with um on location, and that package is fifty thousand dollars. Um. What I can say about that is that is about, I want to say, 30000 more than it has been. Because I know this year it was twenty k, um, And I think the year prior to that, uh, for thirty nine was ten k, if I'm not mistaken. But those elite packages consist of a lot of things. I'm going to actually read off to you what it consists of. Um, this one is for Survivor Series. Front row ticket. Excuse, exclusive backstage experience. Um, a press pr- access to the press conference. Oh, a uh, reserve section in hospitality, so you can like go get food. Um, you get your chair, and um, like you chairs. get you get gifting. You get you get a gift. You get an in ring photo op. You get a SmackDown watch party. You get a piece of the mat from the matches. Um, and you get your own entrance as well as a lanyard. So that's everything that is included in those elite packages. So for $50,000, if you have it and that's all that you're getting, it's kind of worth it. Because you get to go backstage and like fuck around and touch shit. The only thing is when you go do that backstage stuff, you cannot record back there. Now you can record everything else. You cannot record when you're backstage. I've seen that on vlogs. But yeah, you get a bunch of shit. You get a chair. You get some gifts, like some exclusive gifts and some more shit, some food. They feed y'all. Like, it's it's kind of worth it if you think about it. Um, and some of those include the brunch. Oh, did you see that picture of Top Dollar? Uh-huh. Do, you, do Top Dollar know that they're using his face on his website? <laughs> hey. Hold on, let me go back to it. Uh, where was this? Survivor Series? Look at this man. Uh, <laughs> I, don't I don't know if he know <laughs> but um yeah that's that's and like i said some of the packages include your hotel um 
Yeah, some of them include your hotel. Some of them include um, brunch with superstars. Again, those are mid-carders that are coming. Um, I know for the brunch for WrestleMania this year, it was Chelsea Green. Um, uh, 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 oh, Carmella. Um, Braun Strowman. Um, DIY was there. Um, just, just, just to name a couple people that you that you may come across, um, like basically whoever's free for the weekend. Um, so, yeah, what is this? What is the gold package looking like for Bad Blood? Verify that I'm a human. I hate when this shit does this. When you click around on the website too much, it makes you like makes tries to make sure that you're not a bot. Stupid. Oh, this is all about to. Oh! What? $1,500 to sit behind the floor is crazy. Huh. Silver packages. Silver packages in the fucking air. You're better off buying like a regular ass ticket. I'll tell you that fucking much. But yeah, the packages are worth it if that's something that's like you're really into. I kind of wish that I got a chair. For WrestleMania, because those WrestleMania chairs were kind of fire. I would have wanted a Rhea uh, Becky chair. Shit would have went in the basement anyway, but you know, <laughs> I would have just wanted a chair. Um, I'm sitting on my Extreme Rules chair right now. That's awesome. I love that for you. You found used to. I don't. It's very you know, uncomfortable. Ronda Rousey's face. Yeah. My timeline right now is a mixture of Chucky fans being upset that the series is canceled and that dark match that <laughs> um why did I this got thing canceled take up, me... uh why did this thing take me to to the WWE network? I didn't click on this. Why does this website still exist? Oh, overseas. Never mind. Are you getting any uh championship uh yeet merch oh oh well that's the end of that conversation <laughs> am i getting some yeet merch oh i said the championship some no yeet merch the, the gold no I, only thing i wanted was the shorts if he's not releasing the that's shorts, his I, I gear want... the shorts that he had on that too? one time are actually on sale they have them because i have the shorts they have the white I shorts with want... oh see they have some yeet on the dick you want these First of all, <laughs> the crazy things. That's the name of the title. That's the that's the, that's the name of the podcast. Why you on the dick? Yeah. Oh God. You don't Never see these mind. shorts. No, you don't no. want these shorts, no? Damn. Oh wait, those. Oh wait, those, those might work actually. Wait a minute now. Wait a second. <laughs> those might suffice actually. I'm telling you I right might now. That. I'm telling you right now, you're not going outside with me in those pants. Yes, I am. You ain't going to. <laughs> I said, I said outside with me. No, I, I'm going to have some breakaway pants like the like the, like Oh, the, my like the fucking fakers. goodness, bro. You're so angry. With hoods. <laughs> you don't want the sweatpants? No. You just say yeet on the side, on the hip? No, I'm okay. I like this shirt. This is nice. If I can get this in an adult size, that would be great. That looks like that was made on Redbubble. I, I also have a shirt like that on, on my website with the just the big head uh, Jey Uso shirt. I have one like that on my website, and it's a Yours lot better, better than that. It is. It's a lot better. <laughs> not even gonna hold you. I'm not gonna buy my tongue. They have like a lot of side vendors that they're using now. Um, WWE shop, hit me up, and I can think about giving y'all some of my designs to to post up. Ew! They have fucking yeet fleece. That's nasty. Yeet fleece. <laughs> you see this? This is terrible. Please. Ah, oh, this is nasty. Yeah, they just put Yeet on the chest. Six hundred dollars for some autographed Yeet J Uso glasses. I'd rather him take them off his face and give them to me. I'm not paying. I'm not auctioning a damn thing. Are you kidding me? I've been looking for this shirt on this main website forever. And I go and I buy it off the Euro shop, and all of a sudden, y'all got this shirt in an extra large on the website? Please. 
That's crazy. And I think I paid a little more on the Euro shop than I did, than I would have here. But it's on its way. I'll have that shirt in, in a few. So you don't want these shorts right here? No. You don't want to have matching yeet shorts? No. Wow. I'm telling you right now, don't think you can wear my shorts. Oh, I, I just told you what shorts I want. Just letting you know. Damn, they're already s selling signed intercontinental replicas. Are you serious? WWE shop. He just won that damn boat. Y'all already got had him back there putting his name on shit. The pink was not bad. So what? The pink shirt's not bad. The pink shorts. Oh, the shirt. The pink e shirt or the pink all over face shirt. The pink e shirt. That shirt is terrible. Like I like this one better than I like this one. Oh, Rhea Ripley. My yeah, beautiful queen. Good. My beautiful queen. No, no, no. Let me talk to you. Because for what reason between Saturday and Monday did you decide to talk to me? Saturday, Rhea Ripley liked one of my Jaya videos on TikTok, right? And then Monday, she told me to go buy a pink eat shirt. First of all, no, I won't be buying that. And I responded to the tweet. I was like, um... I have plenty of J merch, and that pink eat shirt ain't gonna be, ain't, ain't, ain't it? That ain't the one. Mm -mm. And there were so many people in the comments that was like, oh, it wasn't a no yeet shirt that she had in her back pocket. Yes, it was. It had black writing all over it. But if she wanted to cover her ass, good, go for it. I still love you, queen. Like, I'm not, I'm not finna argue with you. I know what I saw, and I'm not the only person that saw it. <laughs> I was trying to find that damn title again. And then somebody was in my comments was like, oh, you really want to delete this, but because Rhea replied, you're gassed. No. I muted the tweet after I saw that she responded to it, so I didn't see none of the people respond to the fucking tweet. I responded to her and went on about my fucking day. What the fuck? Oh, here it is. If you guys want a uh signed IC title belt by J uh, uh, IC title belt signed by Jay Uso um it is on the website for um $600 <laughs> Get back to your mic that shit sounded like you just hot across the fucking <laughs> So you just yelled across the fucking room Um he the 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 icy belt actually has been selling out since J one on Monday. The almost gone sticker was up there almost immediately after all. So um, y'all was swiping them cards, huh? And I, I about say. somebody said something on TikTok, and I was like, I if if it does sell out, I doubt that they're gonna restock it because they haven't restocked the women's um uh NXT belt. You can only get the women's XT, NXT belt on uh on the Euro shop, but I I I don't think they're gonna restock it if if it does sell out. Um, that's just you know how I feel about it. Um, and if the the only way that you can get an IC belt at the moment is to get a signed one, I would say go ahead and go for it. You're just gonna be paying like an extra like hundred fifty dollars for it. Cause I don't see the boat up here. Do you see the IC title up here? I don't. I think it's sold out. I haven't seen it. It's, I think it's sold out. Uh, so Jay Uso was able to sell out that ugly ass boat, and Gunther couldn't, which is crazy. They still have the women's tag NXT tag boat up here, but it doesn't exist on TV. But the women's Where SmackDown belt is gone. You bastards. Might buy no fucking. Ooh, the Miami Heat jump kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Where the fuck did you see that? Oh, I see okay. it now. You spent five fifty on that ugly ass boat. I'm gonna the next time really I buy a belt, is gonna be the spinner belt. I'm gonna say really bad things to you. I just want the spinner belt. That's all I want. I want every belt that Jeff Hardy held. That's all. 
Except the European belt. I don't like the way that belt looks. I don't need that to be in the cart anymore if I already purchased it. <laughs> oh, it's even 100 over here. They didn't update this website. I'm about to get an OTC hoodie. What? You know what? I don't care. <laughs> what? I'm not, I'm not. I'm done questioning you. I am. Oh. Phone cases. Yeah, you don't know they had WWE shot up phone cases? Phone cases? Nobody want that. They're not going to protect your phone. That's who I know all mad people that got Jay Uso phone cases off the WWE shop. Their phones are just fine. Yeah, all right. They tried that phone down the steps one time. That jungle be crap. <laughs> See, I can only get the women's NXT belt off of the Euro shop, and 482 isn't how, however, it's not bad. There's no free shipping on these. You cannot get sh free shipping on belts. You have to pay for shipping. Song Cold's theme song on the phone. Well, as it tumbles down the stairs. Yeah. I'm just going to put this in there to humor myself to see how much this costs. I don't need to do all of that. Just continue to check out. See? Still paying $500 for it. Hold on. That's damn shit. For the disabled is crazy. Yeah. The you can't get free shipping on um on belts um because of how they ship them. They ship them the long way. So it's just like a big long box that'll show up at your door. Um oh. it's not the prettiest thing, and just hope and pray that the box isn't beat the fuck up coming through the mail. Cause I believe it comes through regular mail. I don't think it comes through like FedEx, UPS, or anything like that. I, at least I don't remember my belt coming through the mail like that. I just remember opening the front door one day and it was just this big ass box <laughs> outside my house. Yeah. You I buy me the spinner belt? What? When you gonna buy me a spinner belt? The audio cut out. What? When are you going to buy me the spinner belt? This has been another episode of the wrestling. Oh, come on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. This is bro. What is that? <laughs> oh, man. I will not put my money into ugly things. Um, oh. I do not enjoy the side of that belt at all. The fucking belt is terrible. You ain't gonna see it. I do. That's fine. Oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. Um, that's cool and all, but that doesn't change what the fuck I said. Um, because eventually I do have to see it. When? House. Home. I would put it in a box or something. What are you afraid of it? I just, I don't know. I got my first experience with it at DreamCon, like, in person. And I, just, I, I, I still don't like it. It didn't change anything. See, it, it probably smelled like cinnamon. What? It probably smelled like cinnamon. I Why would you say that? I, I didn't hold it. I just walked up to the guy and was like, can I spin your boat? And it was, you like, heavy it? to spell. No, it was on his shoulder. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, I'll be messing with you. <laughs> What the hell? Ugh. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> I, I bought WWE 2K24, and I've been doing a lot of stuff on it. Um, being a graphic designer and your, like, creativity sparking um, while playing a video game is very dangerous. Um, I've created many logos I, and ideas and things, like, right off the bat and been able to import them into the game immediately, and that's scary. Um because of the things that I've been able to do. Um, I have three separate efeds going on in my uh in my universe. Uh three. Yeah. That's so, only one. Mm, well, two are of the same company and then one isn't. So 
You made a new AEW Dynamite? No. Um, I have the Baddies Wrestling, which is just okay. the cast from Zeus Network. They're getting their shit off. But mixed in with some of the uh, women from WWE. Um, I have... I have... Um, the Rebel Palace, which is based off of my um, Twitch community, which is the Rebel House. Um, and I have Saturday, I think it's Saturday Night Rebel House. So the Royals, the Royals is like my, is my Wednesday show and Saturday is my, and Rebel House is my Saturday show. Um, all of those will be uploaded on my gaming channel on YouTube. Marie's games so y'all can go subscribe to that if y'all want to um, yeah. and we're gonna have some fun over there i recorded my first uh show and it was fairly interesting i'm not gonna let the game pick matches from here on out i'm going to be pairing things up my damn self because i let it i let the game do what it do for that first that first week and the matches never that, that came out was insane. So, but the matches were really, really good. The only thing that I didn't like was that tag match. That 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 six man was nasty. That six man tornado was nasty. Cause why would Eddie and Rikishi like ever? You know, um, it was a lot of Samoan Dynasty going on in that match. It was like Jacob and fucking uh, Umaga, but they were all like on separate teams. It was it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. But I'll, I'll be posting those. I have to get to editing that and putting the music and, and things like that in there and figuring it out. So when I go to upload on YouTube, everything is just fine and dandy. <sighs> um, Anything new for you? Nah. I'm about to go get something to eat. 12.20. Yeah. We started at like... Uh, like ten forty four. I think so. Chatting for a while, but and then I'm gonna also include like yesterday as well. So yeah. All right. Well, this has been the wrestling room for real this time. Um, don't forget you can listen to this podcast anywhere and everywhere that podcasts are. Uh. I don't know, like distributed, Apple, YouTube, Spotify, Amazon, iHeart, you know, those platforms. Um, you can follow me on all my socials. You know my name by by now. Um, him, him socials is Loft Not Famous because him not going to say the right thing. I got to so. promote something. All right, go ahead. I'm dropping a new hip hop album called Get Rich or Die Live. So y'all got y'all, y'all hit that up on Spinnerilla. And we're gonna be lit. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some crazy features. Um I'll call my, my boy Nate the Great Coleman. If you're watching this, if you listen to this, bro, I'm gonna get you for a feature. You feel me? Um I'm gonna hit up Ray J. You know, I got I got Yo, I, I thought hit you up were some, serious some the, until the, you the, said the, Ray J. I really thought you were serious until you said Ray J. I am serious. What do you, what do you mean? What else is Ray J doing if, if not like listening for like people to call him? Looking to hit, take care of his kids. He he can take a break to record a feature for me. Lil Bow Wow. He's on like his fifth divorce with his wife that'll never go through. I'm so. still calling him for a feature. I, I I'm still. You're not calling Shad Moss. I will block that feature immediately. I I have I, personal. What, what do you think I have I have I'm personal freaking. I have personal contact with Bow Wow. I will absolutely are? block that. Why are you blocking my blessings? What are you doing? Because what are you calling Shad for? For a feature. For what? What do you mean for what? For a rap album. Then you're going to ask him about Jay Cargill and I'm going to get angry. Why are you worried about what I'm doing? Like, why? I'll never block anything for you. Why are you going to block something for me? DJ Just right now and be like, yo. Don't. What is your see, y'all? I be trying to do be successful, and then she just stands in my way of getting a bow wow feature, and I don't know what I did to deserve that. Anyway, who else? Who else? Huh? Who else? Who else? What? Who else you trying to get? 
Oh, no, I ain't gonna say it now because you might try to block it again. No, I don't got no else, no other personal context. What's up? No, that's not true. I, I, no, you, no. <laughs> the future list will be revealed soon. I'm getting bad while on the album, whether she likes it or not. And we out here. Yeah, we getting out of here. I keep staring at this picture of Rhea Ripley. Make my butt hard. All right. What in the hell? <laughs> Goodbye.